Okay, so look, see so with the whole doctor girlfriend stuff, I'm gonna tell y'all why I cheated. Like, for real, for real. I've studied some psychology on manipulative people, and this is what they do, bro. They get you to a place of depression. They beat you down psychologically and then feed you with scraps. Give you a little bit of taste good, right? Because she was depressed. So yeah, I went and got a different chick. I like a month into sexlessness with Dr. Girlfriend because she sucked. What's up YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about a content creator that I wanted to talk about all the way back when I dropped the Rise video for I'm Dante. We're going to talk about Blasphemous HDTV aka Maurice. The channel Blasphemous HDTV has been around for many years. So long in fact that he was beefing with I'm Dante back in the day. Cough cough I'm Dante? He does that? Cough cough I'm Dante? Out of all, out of all the comments he could have read, he says, cough, cough, I'm Dante. And then both of these niggas get the confused, dumb nigga look. I'm Dante? Blasphemous even goes as far as to pretend that he did, he was about, he was about to say, I don't even, I don't even know, I don't even, like, like he didn't know who I was or he didn't know about my video. Who's I'm Dante? I don't, I know I'm Dante. I Who's on Dante? I do I know I'm Dante. I cough, cough, I'm Dante? Who's on, who's on Dante? Who's that? Huh? huh? His main channel, Blasphemous HD, which had over 2 million subscribers, would be terminated in 2018 for violating terms of service, but that wouldn't stop Maurice. Maurice still had his backup reaction channel that currently has 1.7 million subscribers. But over the past couple of years, there has only been a handful of videos that Maurice has uploaded that have gained over 100,000 views. Leading up to this point, BHD's video views hover around 50,000 views per video. So I'll ask you this question. What happened? Why in just three years has Maurice went from getting close to 1 million views per video to now around 50,000 views per video? Well, there were two major events that would stop the growth of Maurice's channel that would be brought up over the past couple of years. These events would shine a spotlight on just who exactly BHD was behind the cameras. Statements from his friends and past editors would put a damper on BHD's returning viewers. While other reaction channels like I'm Dante, Flight Reacts, and Court Reezy were blossoming during lockdown, BHD wasn't able to captivate the huge audience that he once had. And sitting through his videos to make this one, I could see why. Initially, this video was going to be a rise and fall video, but I struggled so badly to watch every controversy that he was involved with and the majority of the fights held no substance to his downfall so this video will be a downfall video just focusing on what happened to his channel to get it to this point now his reactions usually go something like this maurice claims that he's going to react to the statements in a video that's done on him then the whole time he will be deflecting and blaming someone else for his actions and from there he wouldn't take any accountability towards his actions you'll see this more later on in the video and it becomes evident just how manipulative bhd can actually be towards his viewers now after the 300th try not to laugh family guy funny moments video, it starts to get stale, which could be another reason why people won't come back to watch his videos. While other reaction channels exploded in 2020, BHDs didn't, and now I'll bring you into the first controversy as to why BHD has fallen off, taking you all the way back to 2016. In 2016, Maurice would find himself in a predicament. The woman that he cared so dearly for would end up leaving him in the morning time as soon as he opened his eyes. Dr. Girlfriend would have her bags packed and would tell Maurice that she was breaking up with him because he found out that Maurice was cheating on her with an IG model. At least that's what Maurice says. Maurice would unfriend and fire Chavez after the breakup happened and things were pretty quiet because the two didn't want to show the audience that they were no longer friends. Throughout 2017, Maurice would go on live streams and state that Chavez stole money from him and would stir up controversy. Chavez would later respond in a video uploaded in 2018 titled why don't chavez and bhd hang out anymore where he would deep dive into the friendship that him and maurice had and the situation with the whole breakup a day after this video was uploaded skitten would upload her own video titled skitten confesses i tried to sleep with my best friend's ex in this video we would finally get some much needed answers from skitten with a surprise guest being dr girlfriend that hasn't been on video since breaking up with maurice back in 2016. this video basically went over what had happened leading up to that point dr girlfriend said multiple times in the video that it was 2018 and she moved on and Maurice should do the same thing. And even though Maurice didn't respond to both of those videos at that time, he would respond in a later video. What is the reason that you and BHD broke up? Well, he cheated on me with multiple different women. So how long were you together again? Almost five years. And how many uh, of those years was he cheating on you? About three of those. Oh, three you say. And apparently one of those times was with me if I had my way. 
Maurice would finally react to Travis's video during the summertime of 2021, a whole three years later. Maurice would tell us that the reason why he cheated on Dr. Girlfriend was because she was depressed, and she was no longer that supportive rock that had his back through everything. He also stated that she wouldn't have sex with him during this time. This stressed him out, and because she was depressed and wouldn't have sex with him, he had to find someone else who would have sex with him. Maurice would say that Travis's girlfriend, Skitten, would plant the seeds to Dr. Girlfriend breaking up with him. He would state that Skitten would tell Dr. Girlfriend that he was cheating on her, I guess weeks before he actually was, which supposedly made Dr. Girlfriend depressed. The sad thing from this clip is that Maurice acts like he didn't do anything wrong, putting more of the blame on Skitten for telling his girlfriend that he was cheating on her and not actually taking accountability for actually cheating on his girlfriend. During the story time, he would joke around about cheating on Dr. Girlfriend, and he would correct Chavez in this video and say this. He didn't cheat on his girlfriend, but he was talking to other women. Dr. Girlfriend found out. Yeah, I did. I hella cheated. I was fucking the shit out of that girl. The next couple of minutes of this video would be Maurice airing out Skitten's dirty laundry with no actual evidence, just Maurice's word. To me, it seemed like Maurice was trying to push the blame onto someone else and act as if he was a victim in this situation. Being a YouTuber with a channel with over 1 million subscribers, it was easy for him to put the blame on a smaller content creator with a smaller fan base. His claim was that Skitten did all this to try to have sex with him, which Skitten debunked in 2018. Dr. Girlfriend would also say that the reason why she was depressed was because because Maurice wouldn't spend time with her. He would blame it on YouTube, but it's because he was giving his attention to someone else. This whole situation on Maurice's side seemed very petty and weird. This response video took a long time to come out and would also be uploaded to his website, possibly to get traction onto it, and it was hidden behind a paywall. Maurice would also state that he would have to make multiple parts for his response, capitalizing on this controversy that took years for him to respond to. Maurice would also state that at a party, Skitten would tell everyone that he cheated on his girlfriend. Maurice would chase after her and ask her why she's trying to ruin his life, and Skitten would respond by saying that she already got Dr. Girlfriend a couple of guys off Tinder. This new information about Dr. Girlfriend would, I guess, hurt Maurice, even though he is the one that caused the breakup in the first place by cheating on Dr. Girlfriend. This second part of his response was pretty hard to sit through. It's the exact same thing that he was saying in the first video, putting the blame on Skitten, and again, would not take accountability for his actions. He would also put the blame onto Chavez for their friendship coming to an end because Chavez recorded their conversation without Maurice knowing, even though Chavez said that he accidentally recorded it because Maurice was helping him with his taxes. He would also claim that Skitten told him to drink or do drugs to cope with the emotions that he had after finding out that his girlfriend allegedly found someone new. He would paint this picture as if Skitten was telling him to go on the live himself, which I'm pretty sure wasn't the case. Skitten and Dr. Girlfriend are best friends, and women take the side of a woman in these types of situations. And of course, with Skitten telling him to go do drugs or drink, Maurice had to flex his money and say that because he had an abundance of money, he could unalive himself with how much drugs he can actually get a hold of. Looking at the situation as someone that never watched Blasphemous HD, I felt as if he was making the story up as he went along. And finding those older videos from 2018 that already spoke about what happened makes it seem like Maurice is still hung up on losing his girlfriend and his friends in the process because his pride was too big to take accountability for his actions. Or he just wanted some easy views and traction to his new website, and this was the only situation that he knew could pull in people to his website. Let's actually see how that website is doing today. Well, it looks like it's not doing that great. I for sure wasn't going to go into the website after that message. And even in his newer videos, he doesn't even promote it. Next, we have to take a look at the issues that would be brought up by Brandy and Randy. Brandy would come out with a video titled The Truth About Blasphemous HD. This video would dive in and debunk some of the comments that were made by Maurice and how Brandy was there for some of those situations. And the majority of the time when Maurice would make a story time about a certain situation, it would be filled with lies and other things to make Maurice come out as a good guy. Brandy would also talk about how Maurice Maurice changed over the years and how she would feel uncomfortable around him. And this is how a mid 30 year old man reacts to her statements about feeling uncomfortable around him. All right, like he kind of just took over and I'm like, okay, I guess we'll do that. So yeah, uh, when we were doing that, super, super awkward. I, I don't know if you guys can tell like from the video. Let's do this. Hurry up, Randy, mount me. Let's do this. <laughs> Again, this man is damn near 40, just laughing about somebody feeling uncomfortable around him. 
Maurice would respond to this video pretty much shaking off any criticism thrown his way. He would say that he did everything for his videos and that pretty much gave him the right to speak to his friends any way that he wanted to. And he would also say that Brandy was lazy. Brandy would talk about how Maurice purchased alcohol for them when she was underage, but he would clarify and say that she was 18 or 19, but is still underage for purchasing alcohol. Maurice would end his response video abruptly after telling a story on how he cheated on his ex-girlfriend before Dr. Girlfriend. Eventually, Brandy would make a second part to this video. This second part of the video would include Randy, Maurice's ex-best friend and editor. Randy would talk about how Maurice out of nowhere would tell him that he would cut his pay in half. Randy would also talk about how Maurice changed after the whole Chavez situation and how bringing it up was a stupid idea. One part of the video that I want to focus on is when Randy and Brandy both make allegations towards Maurice for doing some inappropriate shit behind closed doors. Stop. <laughs> We're not gonna out what it is we already did that you're doing. Know. Okay, you know what we're talking about. Uh -huh. Stop. We're just not confirming. Stop. What it is. Don't do it. No more. And I mean that shit. Seriously, though, for real. Because like, if you go down for this, you gotta understand my channel. Eat like as much as I hate it is connected to yours. You still upload old videos with me on your channel, so people are gonna think that I'm an accomplice to your shit. Stop it. Seriously. Seriously. They both basically say that he was having inappropriate interactions with minors, allegedly. It's very hard to feel as if they're lying about this information. The things that they had to edit out of his videos that were inappropriate and just things that they saw when the cameras weren't on. Brandy would say that she was 16 when Maurice got the alcohol for them and she would also say that Maurice was tickling one of the other underage girls that were there and how he would also flirt with them. She would say even if it was a joke, it's not a joke that should be made towards minors. Now after this all came out, it's shined a light on EDP. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I meant Maurice. I mean, how could we deny the allegations from editors that worked with him for years? It makes it even more odd that he never responded to this video, even though he was quick to respond to the first one. Since this video, Maurice has fallen off. Pretty much right after he responded to the first video, his views would go from 100,000 views to below 100,000 views, when before he was constantly hitting over 100,000 views per video. It would get to a point that in February of this year, he would upload a video where he would claim that he wasn't making enough money to keep his channel alive, and now it's it's taking him a lot longer to upload videos because his internet at his new place isn't great. He would create a GoFundMe with a goal to raise $10,000. In the video, he says that he wants to raise enough money to pay his employees for a year. He also says that YouTube doesn't pay well, but he wasn't saying that when he was having higher video views and calling himself a multimillionaire. He goes on to then say in the description of the GoFundMe that the money that's being raised is to help the animation and now he's already spent $500,000 of his own money to create this project. He states that his main account got terminated, but that was years ago. This is what we call a scare tactic. YouTubers that have a dying channel always do this. They will upload a video saying that they are going to quit YouTube if they don't get X amount of money. That video will do good in views because people feel bad and want to see what the controversy is about. But then the content creator will still upload after that video as if nothing happened. Sadly, Maurice's channel is dying. His video with Will Smith at the Oscars hasn't even cracked 100,000 views, and that was the biggest video topic this year. And then he has videos like this one, Smash or Pass Pokemon. His channel is confusing as far as content, it's just all over the place. His reactions feel forced and not genuine, and he just can't grasp that same attention that he once had. I think his channel started to die once his friends were no longer in videos, and after all the controversy that happened. This has been the downfall of Blasphemous HDTV too. So I wanted to talk to the community for a second. I know that I said the creep show art video will be out this week before this video but june ended up creating his own video shout outs to him because he did it way quicker than i did i do have a sponsored video that's coming out either next upload or the upload after that so depending on the time frame that video could be coming out in the next weeks or month i just needed to explain that a lot better because I know I said it in the community tab, but I never really said it in video. Also, we are so close to 100,000 subscribers. So if you are new here and you're not subscribed and you wanna help me get to that sweet spot of 100,000 subscribers, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.